Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Eyes. We've got a Judas run. That is gonna be interesting, but you know what? Uh, luckily, oh my god. A magic mushroom in the first room? You shouldn't have, that's remarkable. Um, uh, I'm, I'm happy to have a Judas run right now because I did just finish recording the last run. If you haven't seen that, I would really recommend you go back and watch it. I always say this when I have a great run, but statistically, it'll probably end up being better than this run. So if you haven't seen that one, I would recommend recommend going back and checking out. Uh, you've got like a five second spoiler warning here. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, spoiler warning, happy birthday to, oh my god, you. Um, on the last run, we doubled down and then tripled down on becoming Guppy. And it ended up not even mattering because we picked up Mom's Knife, Polyphemus, and uh, a variety of other good damage upgrades. The Mark, the Pact, Jesus Juice. Uh, I think I mentioned Jesus Juice already, but um, yeah, it ended up being an incredible run. Stupidly high damage, and then we became Guppy anyway, and it actually seems like this Judas run is kind of following that uh, form right now as well. We've already gotten a Magic Mushroom as well as from our very first item room. Or, sorry, from our very first boss fight, picking up Pentagram, so we're a little bit of a glass cannon, and that's how we ended up uh, playing that last run as well. We uh, never had more than three red heart containers over the course of the entire run, I think, which is very, very low compared to your, your average run. That being said, our damage was such that it, it made uh, it completely plausible to actually win on that run, and it looks so far, I mean, it's way too early to tell because we're only on the second floor, but it looks so far like we may be dealing with a very similar situation here. So I'm not going to go to the item room just yet because it's possible we could get enough money to go to the shop, which might be a little bit more viable. We're going to use Book of Belial here, and that should let us like six or seven shot this boss, which is very, very good for the early game here. So I'm excited about the way this run is starting to shape up. There's some extra HP for us. It almost feels like a luxury to have three hearts at this point. And neither Demon Baby n nor uh, Nine Lives are, unfortunately good enough for me to consider picking them up. So we're gonna leave for now, and we'll tackle the rest of this floor in the way that I like to tackle the rest of this floor. If there's no blood bank, I probably will sacrifice an awful lot of health to check out this boss trap room. It may or may not be a good decision, especially without having nine lives. It seems very scary. In fact, taking nine lives would have allowed us to go to the boss trap room much more easily, which may be a better idea, but so be it. We're definitely gonna go to our curse room here. The real question is, what do we use our bomb for? Do we use our bomb to check for the secret room, or do we use our bomb to uh, open up this tinted rock? It's a darn good question. I don't necessarily have an answer for yet. So we got some flies. Um, maybe what I will do, and a lot of people are gonna disagree with this, I think, but is there... Oh, I shot the fire like a dumb idiot. Please tell me there's some fire left. Ah, oh, there's not. Okay, so... We're not actually going to end up going to the uh, boss trap room. There's just no way to make it happen. We're going to get Celtic Cross, which is fine. Unless we find some fire. If we find some fire, there might be a way to make it happen. Um, but we will look for the secret room, because I don't really worry too much about that eternal or that uh, tinted rock. Hopefully there's more than seven cents in here. There's exactly six. And actually, there is some fire now, so I'm going to walk into it over and over and over. This is going to be pretty interesting. But, it does give me an out to go to that boss trap room, and then please tell me there's a penny. Oh, that's so frustrating. Uh, we'll check out our boss trap room now, though. This is the whole reason I went through this ordeal in the first place. Inside, we find the coat hanger. And I will pop Book of Belial here. Please tell me I, didn't, I did summon both enemies at the same time. Uh, unfortunately, that's a, a you know a well-known glitch in the Binding of Isaac, where if you uh, use like a spacebar enemy at exactly the same time that an enemy is spawning on a room like this, you can accidentally greet yourself with a double wave. That was kind of unfortunate, but on the bright side, we're totally fine. I think I'm going to save my money. We ended up getting the coat hanger. We're going to be able to get back to reasonably full health. And, you know, the coat hanger is a pretty good item, so I'm, I'm content with that. Celtic Cross is what it is. We'll head down to the next floor. I think that was the right way to handle things. Uh... Maybe going to the shop would have been fine in case there was a, a half price item, but can't necessarily guarantee that. And we know that there's not going to be greed in this shop either, so we might prioritize that as well uh, over this item room. Because Caves Part 1, still a relatively small floor, but for now, uh, let's just continue having a good time here. The, the run has been very nice, very generous in terms of the items that we've been gifted so far. There's our shop. So I'm hoping that we just manage to snag a penny, like, right off the bat here, so we can just go to it. Mm, no such luck. Instead, we'll go to our boss fight, which I expect is going to be very easy. Just clear a path on one side of it here, and kill that fly, please. Now we have nothing to worry about, so I'll quickly uh, book a Belial up here. 
Get the hell out of the way. And as long as it doesn't summon Grandfather Flies, this is the most automatic boss fight in the game. If it does summon Grandfather Flies, we have a little bit of extra dodging, but still pretty easy with our amount of damage. So, there's meat that is an awesome pickup for us. Spirit Heart, I'll leave until we leave. This has been a very solid run so far. And we have Blue Candle. Blue Candle's an interesting one, isn't it? Uh, at half price, it's a great pickup. However, I kind of prefer Book of Belial in this situation because of the uh, damage that it lets us do. In our item room, we find Mini Mush, which is speed plus range. Content to take it uh, because we can't reroll it anyway. Um, how do I? F I'm, I'm still trying to suss out how I feel about that Blue Candle uh, play there. Because Book of Belial is effectively like a concentrated blue candle that can't be unleashed as often, but is maybe a little bit more effective in boss rooms, and it requires like a little bit less actual, you know, conscious effort to use, if that makes sense. Uh, not to say that, you know, blue candle is like, you know, iterating a Fibonacci sequence or something like that. I don't even know if that is something that makes sense, um, but it made me sound smart until I admitted that I'm an idiot, so I'll, I'll take it. Um, but I'm still not totally sure. I'm not even letting, like, you know, viewer opinion factor into this decision. Viewer opinion would probably say that, uh, you know, Book of Belial is more exciting. There goes our spirit art, which is why I shouldn't have picked it up yet. Ooh, okay, Guardian Angel for free is pretty nice, or for the cost of, you know, an extra walk into that extra, or that, um, room there. I'm, I'm content to take it, that's pretty good. And we get, uh, spirit art on the way out, so that actually worked out fine. I think people would rather see me use the Book of Belial than Blue Candle. And to be honest with you, with our damage as it is right now, aka pretty good, I feel like I'm probably just gonna stick with Book of Belial, but you know, it's nice to know that there was a, uh, a Blue Candle there. Obviously, that item is a little bit better defensively than Book of Belial is because it would let us, uh, you know, block incoming shots from the late game bosses, for example, but so be it. We've, we've made our bed, now it's time to lie in it. And uh, so far, the lion is pretty good. Probably will have an arcade on this floor. Still want to go to the shop. Still want to go to the item room. Plenty of good stuff on the way there. Um, and should be using Book of Belial more often now that we're dealing with larger floors. But you know me. Too good to use syndrome. Uh, definitely in full effect. I'm very pleased with the items we've gotten so far. But we could definitely still stand to be a little bit better offensively. So, uh, Roid Rage is a speed upgrade exclusively. But I'm still content to have it. For now, this is probably about as much speed as we will need over the course of this run, but it does insulate us from picking up a... Ooh, okay, let's try this bad boy out here. It does insulate us from having a, um, a, a speed downgrade, either in pill form or from a small rock, for example. And I'm hoping there's an arcade on this floor, because obviously I would love to be able to make good use of that boss trap room. The last boss trap room paid out adequately. That was such awful damage. Uh, let's check out our shop quickly. Map for free, well not for free, but for, uh, you know, a limited cost is very, very good. I think we'll go to our curse room as well, now we can find our secret room, and we realize we probably didn't have to actually spend a key to open up our item room, but now we know for the future, I suppose. So, uh, it doesn't look like there's actually going to be an arcade on this floor, so what we will probably do, thank god we got a nickel here too, um, what I will probably do, and a key that's very, very generous, is, uh, I'll fight the boss with the most amount of HP that I can get, we're going to try something a little sneaky here. With the amount of speed that I have, it's a little bit difficult to swing that, but it ended up working. Um, we'll, uh, we'll fight the boss with as much HP as I can. Then we'll hurt ourselves, probably on those spikes as much as I can. Then we'll go to the boss trap room, hopefully snag an HP upgrade or some other, you know, equivalent good upgrade. And uh, we, we should be fine. Sucks that there's no arcade, but so be it. Not really worth my bombs for those pills, I would say. And we're going to be very close to our boss fight. I can't really complain about how this run's going right now. I, I'm definitely uh, in a more privileged position than on your average Judas run by the fourth floor of the game. Alright, so it's just going to be a cube of meat, but a cube of meat is actually a pretty solid pickup considering that we're uh, already uh, saddled with, in a good way though, we're already rolling with uh, Guardian Angel here, so that's going to be nice for us. We will, uh, you know, quickly check out this Tinted Rock. That's basically what I was hoping for. We're not going to pick up the small rock just yet. Uh, but we'll, we'll get that spirit heart on the way out too. So we're going to hurt ourselves here. Don't want to go down to a half heart if possible. I'd rather just go down to, uh, you know, one heart. Because that would keep us a little safer. But not sure if there's any way for me to actually swing that. Now watch out. There's a lot of spikes here. A lot of risky things. 
now. <laughs> that was a little scary, wasn't it? I was a little scared. For two cents, we can buy a whole heart, but we can't really do that. Is there an HP in here? It's a speed upgrade. Okay, well, you know what? We actually just don't want to go through with that then. So I'll spend two cents here. Would have been better maybe to spend five cents on a spirit heart, but whatever. Uh, yeah, so, you know, doesn't always work out. At least we know now. We still got the small rock as well. Which is a speed downgrade, which is good, because we're actually a little bit too fast for uh, my personal taste right now. And the damage upgrade, of course, which is even better. And we're, we're set up quite nicely here, but obviously it would be nice to have uh, Compass, Nun's Habit, anything that makes the Book of Belial work more often. Definitely did not need to buy that uh, heart that I actually bought, but so be it. Now we're safe. Alright. So we have the small rock. That's going to improve our damage ever so slightly, which is important. We get the bomb bag, which to be honest with you, you know, I'm, I'm a lot less picky about my items when I don't really have a chance to reroll them, and we don't really have a chance to reroll uh, the bomb bag, so I'll just be content to get more bombs over the course of this run. With the map, it does mean that I, uh, theoretically at least, should end up spending less keys, finding secret rooms uh, more reliably, as long as I actually have the explosives necessary to open them, which this is going to help with, obviously. So, uh, I hate not having piercing shots for the zombie train, but that's okay. Choo-choo motherfucker and all that. That was pretty close. I'm not gonna open up that, uh, boss room, or sorry, secret room. One of these days I will go through an Isaac episode without mislabeling a room. Uh, but I'm not gonna go into that secret room until I get another bomb, because I think theoretically I could maybe bomb my way into the shop and save the use of a key or something. Oh! I don't know, okay, what I was thinking there is like I could use a bomb and maybe get that spirit heart for free. Ended up being a very silly decision, but whatever. Um, I lost a spirit heart. No, uh, no skin off my scrot, as I sometimes very vulgarly say. Sincerely though, have you ever had skin taken off your scrotum for the fellas in the audience? Um, it's, it's not very nice. I had testicular surgery once in my life. It hurt a lot. I mean, you know, in on the internal side a lot more than just the skin off the scrot, but the second most painful part of testicular surgery was taking the bandages off after. I tell you that. Now, we actually don't need um, a second bomb to go to that secret room any anymore, because we can now see, by virtue of the fact that we have the map, that um, that is not a room of any importance. So, I'm imagining we're probably going to end up fighting Greed on this shop, or Super Greed. We didn't, which is actually very surprising to me. We're going to end up not buying anything, even though I spent a key to get in. Let's see what we've got over here. Uh, there is a chance that we encounter some more rooms of value on the way to the boss room. That is a terrible item, but it might save me a bomb. It might also cost me a spirit heart, but what can I say? I like to live dangerously. And it didn't even save me a bomb. It just cost me some time. So we'll uh, go to that secret room. It's the frustrating part of not having the D6, obviously. There's a lot of wasted potential, but it's also fun to play as different characters. And speaking of wasted potential, there's Bob's Rotten Head, which is pretty bad for us. At the very least, we are taking some shitty items out of the rotation, but uh, what might have been is basically what's running through my head right now. Thank God we uh, didn't end up getting caught out there. I'm going to try to like leave and come back. I really doubt this is going to be a second secret room given its proximity to some other adjacent rooms, but sure. One bomb for three cents when we have the bomb bag seems like a pretty good trade. Curse room and uh, a Demon Judgment. This is actually awesome. So we may need another bomb to actually be able to access Demon Judgment, but there we go. Got some Spirit Hearts out of that, which will insulate me. Maybe shouldn't have picked them up until we came in here, but hey, we got the Relic as well, which is awesome. I think we can buy a bomb from the shop, worst case scenario. So we'll go fight the boss and, woo, that's pretty excellent. We'll go fight the boss and figure out what's up with this, and then we'll talk about that Demon Judgment situation, which I absolutely want to take part in. All right, now that we're safe, Pop Book of Belial quickly. Uh, Monster 2 should be relatively easy to take care of. We're not quite as glass cannony as in the um, last run, last run, but we still are relatively low HP, ooh, relatively high um, damage. And we get the Miter as well as the Relic, so our HP should actually be sorted out for us now. We'll take our range upgrade because we have no choice, and I guess we will go. Hey, who's messaging me on GTalk? YouTube.com slash, slash Zach Scott Games. I can't talk right now. I'm playing The Binding of Isaac. Um, but there's your, there's your promotion. Uh, we'll just come down here, buy a bomb. Can't buy a bomb. You could buy a tarot card. The tarot card could be like the tower. It's a fool. I feel like it right now. Um, so I don't think there's any way for us to get into that, uh, 
into that demon judgment unless I gamble? Is there like a slot machine over here or something? I need a bomb if possible. There is a slot machine. And I know I took some spirit heart damage walking on the spikes. That was an accident. And I know that I'm costing myself the chance to maybe go to an arcade on a future floor. But playing that demon judgment when there's so much HP remaining on this floor seems more important to me. Alright, more money. Fantastic. Uh, just one bomb is all I need. Bomb is all I need. Seriously. Uh, I'll, I'll wait. I do have the bomb bag. That should give me a better chance in my mind. But I also have relic and miter. So maybe huge spirit heart chance beats me. The odds of playing a slot machine like 12, 13, 14, 15 times and not getting a single bomb strike me as very low because I exclusively seem to get bombs out of these slot machines when I don't want them. This is our last play before we have to walk out. Alright, we got two more plays left plus whatever money it gives us. And we got to walk out again to get it, which is always frustrating. Okay, well, there's a lot more money actually, so... That's encouraging, and I took more spirit heart damage, which could end up actually being the death of me if I uh, get too aggressive with that demon judgment as well. Seriously, like, no bombs on this many... I'm very happy with the amount of keys. I won't shit on the amount of keys you've been giving me here, but seriously, just one bomb is all I need. And we played it like 30 times now. I have the bomb bag, and yet I'm still struggling here. Oh, you fucking ass. You douche... Sizzler. Can we get... Yeah, we can get that. I don't know if we can get this penny, though. Well, we'll leave it. I'm disappointed because we had the tower card, and maybe we could have used it, but that probably would have just blown up Demon Judgment. Uh, the Fool card ended up not working out for me. The slot machine ended up exploding before paying out with a single bomb, so... Truth be told, I don't really know what I can do, but at least know that I tried Demon Judgment to free you from your, you know, Potassium Feldsparish prison. So, moving onwards. Secret room doesn't look like it can give us access to another room. And I'm pretty much, like, guaranteed to fight greed or super greed here, so I'm gonna eat my own words pretty quickly. I do want to buy that coin purse if possible. We can't re-roll it. We'll check and see what our secret room holds for us. With Oh, never no, we, we won't actually do that because uh, I don't have any bombs. So hopefully that gets sorted out sooner rather than later, and I can actually start playing the Binding of Isaac again. One key to open up a chest actually seems, like a regular chest, actually seems totally fine for me right now. Uh, and we got one bomb out of it, so that's a bomb for a key, which is actually a pretty okay trade. Uh, when I'm in this kind of situation that I'm in. And there's Super Greed! It had to happen at some point. So, we're still fine here. Just kill Super Greed easily. Paid out with a tarot card and a little bit of money that will at least help us get close to that coin purse. And of course, keep in mind, the coin purse could end up being terrible. The tower card. Um, the fool card is more effective for us. I'm sorry to say because we do need the bombs, but um, this is... it is what it is. What do we have over here? Item room. Obviously, we want to check that out. White feather. That is admittedly the first item room I think that paid out with something that I couldn't at least use in one way or another. So, uh, hard to be salty about that, although the white feather is pretty terrible for me. Crack the sky, I guess I should call it if I'm being... Legitimate, so there is a nickel that allows us to uh, open up that coin purse. Little frightened about the prospect, but who dares wins, right? What's the worst it could give us? Tears downgrades? One HP downgrade? And it could, uh, you know, obviously pay out on the other side as well. In general, I've said this before, but I think the... Okay, we teleported into the second secret room and got some secret flies as a result. Um, I've said this before, but I, as, as dubious as the coin purse sometimes is, Here's why I think it's not a 50-50 good or bad thing. Uh, obviously, if you get, you know, PhD, let's just assume that that didn't happen. Even without PhD, here's why I think it's uh, better than 50-50. If you get a bad pill, you're only going to take one. If you get duplicates, so that was pretty bad. Um, but if you get a good pill, you can take the duplicates. So the most you're ever going to get on a bad side from uh, a coin purse is like one attribute down of everything. And that's truly terrible, I'll admit. Um, but the the potential upshot is much better. You could oh, that's actually excellent as well. You could maybe snag like three HP upgrades and a tears upgrade or something like that. Basically, you're never gonna get more than one negative of the same trait unless you're a masochist or kind of an idiot. Um, but you can sometimes get duplicates positively. So that that's my feeling on that issue. You may agree or disagree. Uh, I'm still happy I took the risk, even though it turned out to be a fairly terrible decision. So we got Skeleton Key and a Dime from a single secret room, which is just, like, absurdly good. Um, if we can get Guppy's Tail or something like that, that'd be cool. 
Probably just gonna end up, uh, you know, using High Priestess on that. That worked out fantastically, as you can tell. This is almost a uh, Book of Belial worthy room, in my opinion, because I always, always, always take damage on the Massive Infamy. God, they are the worst shit in this fucking game. There we go. And I think we can totally justify using one bomb for this. Especially when they drop three on this room. Why did I use High Priestess there? Well, I want to save the Fool card for the boss fight. I guess we could have taken High Priestess down with us. Hopefully that doesn't end up being a major thing, though. Yeah, I'll admit that that was a, a bit of a misplay. There's a misplay out of laziness, not a misplay out of, like, um, you know, theory. Which is actually maybe more damnable, but whatever. Sure, more Spirit Arts. Thank you, Relic and Miter. I do think that we have a comfortable win ahead of us here. Even though I don't have the compass, uh, I think it's... No, oh, I mean, Telepills. Eh, we don't want to use that yet. Uh, I do think it's a losable run, fairly conceivably, but I uh, I think it's, it's going to be comfortable because of the Relic and the Miter and our damage. I think it's going to turn out okay. So we've got some work to do here. Back to what I assume is going to be the boss room down in the bottom right. Well, it has to be the boss room at this point, doesn't it? In the bottom right. Regular Judgment is something I'm pretty stoked about. There is a little bit more money available for us on this floor as well. Hopefully we don't end up needing it, but with the luck we've had so far with these things, uh, we don't need it. Okay. Disregard that. I was being bitter without uh, the necessity of being bitter, shall we say. Now, Blast Assist, definitely not worth the Book of Belial, especially so close to the mom fight, which probably won't be difficult, but it would be nice to have the... Uh, be nice to have the Book of Belial for it regardless. This is a very slow version of Chubb, which is the ideal version of Chubb in my mind, because uh, that's the only way I get hit by Chubb now, basically, is when he is too quick and changes directions before I can actually get to him. Sure, another key. Wonderful. Alright, moment of truth. Red version of Mom. I'm gonna pop Book of Belial quickly. Can't believe I... Uh, I was gonna say can't believe I didn't get hit there, but then I got hit there. Um, I was gonna perfect Mom, but then I got hit. I was gonna... Nah, let's not follow that Afro Man joke as deep as it can go. I don't I don't want to know how low into my own psyche we'll actually end up if we do that. So we get Squeezy. Squeezy's, uh, you know, something that will compensate for our damage downgrade, or our tears downgrade, and also, of course, the Spirit Hearts are nice. We Fool Card out. Could take Telepills with us as well, but I'm not gonna do that. Because I'm lazy, but also Telepills unpredictable. Doesn't this look like a weird Joker-esque smiley face? You want to know how I got these stones? Uh, that's the best I could do on short notice. I apologize. Um, no deal with the devil. Definitely do not take Isaac's fork instead of the Polaroid. It's down to the next floor. Curse of Darkness means I don't feel bad about not having the compass, I suppose. So, let's find our boss here. And yeah, I would really welcome a, uh, a deal with the angel. Or Yeah, at this point, I mean, I guess we're basically guaranteed to get deals with the angel. We have Celtic Cross, the Relic, the Mitre, and Guardian Angel. There's not much left except for Sacred Heart. There could still be, like, you know, Holy Water. There's three bosses here. I think that's Book of Belial worthy. Um, you know what I would like in Curse Rooms? If maybe, like, once every 20 Curse Rooms you end up fighting Krampus? That would make Curse Rooms, like, less objectively good. I know you lose health for going into them. That so rarely becomes a factor. If you fight Krampus, it's still a pretty darn good. But it does add in a little bit more risk than just, you know, walking through some spikes. Now you gotta walk through some spikes and fight Krampus, but your reward is a pretty good item in the form of Lump of Coal. That you could then reroll if you wanted to, I suppose. Alright, we're gonna lose two Spirit Hearts for walking in here. And it was not worth it at all. But at least we got one of those back. And we learned. We learned that that room is not to be trusted right now. That's it. That's what I get for calling uh, curse rooms objectively good, I guess. Is this, you want objectively good, motherfucker? Here's a live bomb and two spirit heart costs to come in. Alright, maybe I was short-sighted there. Now, damage is fine even without the Book of Belial active. Can afford to use it a little bit more frequently, though. I like our chances against late game bosses. We're not firing super frequently. It's a pretty steady stream, but not firing super frequently. Uh, well, there's not even any point of picking those up, is there? And, um... Our Guardian Angel plus uh, Orbitals I like as well, so hopefully maybe we can snag another Orbital at some point. Let's see who we're fighting here. Uh, I'm glad it's not War, because a second cube of meat doesn't really appeal to me that much at this point. And I'm not even going to use Book of Belial here. It might be better to use it on another uh, just random enemy that we find later. Unfortunately, getting the 8-ball kind of sucks, but the Tarot card could be a game winner. Wheel of Fortune is uh, an extra item if we manage to carry it down like another floor in a bit. And unfortunately, these two items are just not good enough. Yeah. 
deal with the devil room has been pretty spotty so far. I was really hoping for a deal with the angel room there. Oh well. Now, uh, probably should consider um, going to that mob trap room before I make any major decisions here. Could still find like a compass in there. That happens fairly frequently. Where you at, man? There we go. Uh, an extra bomb is useful. I can't believe I'm still so low on bombs given that I have uh, the bomb bag, but shit happens sometimes. Down here. And I'm feeling pretty comfortable, which is nice for a Judas run. In particular, I mean, this is, it's not the antithesis of the last run where we got super high damage but had low health, but it is kind of very different than the last run. That was awful damage on my part. Very different from the last run. Instead of getting like all these high damage items, instead we got, um, you know, Relic and Miter, uh, which are typically, even on like a shitty damage run, almost good enough to single-handedly guarantee their success by themselves. And, and our damage is so good that I also feel like I can totally justify losing, you know, spirit hearts by coming into curse rooms, even though the chance for a potential payout uh, that's positive there is pretty low. Now, we also can't fly. That would be something I would like to sort out on the rest of this run, but we'll uh, make our way up to the secret room area here. That is interesting, but I don't want to risk walking on spikes. I've got a bad track record for it this run. Possibly could play that... Uh, Blood bank a little bit. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Could work out, and could keep us at a half heart interval, which would be nice. Sorry, I lost focus for a second there while I was trying to uh, just figure out how I, I wanted to handle the rest of this floor, or that room in particular. We can get out, out of that. No worries. Uh, another judgment. I will make an exception here, and we'll put a bomb down there, and then come back in and see if this is powerful enough. No. Okay, so we've got to be a little bit more prudent, we could do that. And we'll try this out. And now playing the Blood Bank is incentivized. Ah, oh, so bad. Playing the Blood Bank is incentivized a little bit more. We also have Celtic Cross, which I totally forgot about, but... Um, oh, we got the Nun's Habit. That's actually very nice pickup for us. But I was gonna say playing the Blood Bank is incentivized because we can now, um... You know, put that money from the Blood Bank into the Judgment Pool, but Judgment paid out so quickly that that's fine. This will allow us to get multiple Book of Belial charges. I don't know if that gives us better um, chances on our, like if we use it multiple times in the same room. But I do know that I'm happy to have at least uh, gotten the Nun's Habit and be able to use the Book of Belial pretty much on every single room if I want to. Every single room I take damage on at least. And this is going to be easy. It probably will take all of my remaining bombs, but it's going to be a very easy uh, finish here regardless. You should be dead. Yeah, thank you. Take out the Zambies. Pretty much a perfect shot there. Ooh, still managed to take out one of the guys there. There we go. So we can still save one bomb. Oh, careful. I don't think I went to the secret room, actually. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Doesn't end up being that important, I guess. That was so stupid of me to step again on that creep, but I really thought we could get the spirit heart before invincibility ran out. Golden chest. I will open it. We got a spirit heart, which should end up being worth it. Good. That time I timed it as such that I didn't actually accidentally uh, summon all three bosses to fight me at once, or at least the first two. And again, Book of Belial is so frequent now, or is able to be used so frequently now, that I would be stupid to not use it to prevent myself from taking some dumb damage in some very inconvenient situations, like having to fight uh, a room full of, you know, three plus bosses. Now you should be dead in like one more volley. Very easy, and more bombs for us as well. Haven't checked out the secret room yet. Will likely do it. Use our bomb in a couple of keys here. It's one of the benefits of having Skeleton Key, obviously. We even got uh, an extra bomb out of it, I think. Truth be told. I hate all these enemies. Yep, I, I particularly hate you, but I hate the Bicycle Helmet Man as well. And this is the end of our road this way, so we gotta go back the other way. Should be interesting. I, this is a losable run still. I don't think it's gonna be comfortable as I said it would be earlier. Oh, this is tempting, actually. Um, I don't think it's gonna be comfortable. I think it's actually gonna be pretty much down to the wire. A couple of times, maybe even. We will totally use Justice. Thank God we used it far away enough from that uh, Judgment that it didn't accidentally kill him. We also got a Nickel out of that. Uh, the Lovers we'll just put down right away. We want to keep this Wheel of Fortune card. We might end up needing those hearts, but I hope we don't. So just keep it going here. And we'll keep it going again. And again. We got that Nickel from Justice, so we've got more than enough money to play him until presumably he'll pay out. Presumably, but you know, you know what happens when you presume. You make a press out of you and me? We'll try. 
Two more cents after that one. Uh, okay, thank you for the key. That will not come in handy at all. And wow, I'm amazed. Like Paul McCartney. Baby, I'm amazed by the way you're greedy. Uh, yeah, we'll go to the curse room quickly. Got a couple of pills and spirit hearts. What are the pills? Do we know? Tears down. Not so good. How about this one? Puberty. Good to know, I suppose. Not our boss room, which is the main reason I came over here. It's kind of good, because now we can fight our way back to that uh, greedy little judgment ding-dong and hopefully snag some extra money along the way. Well, worst case scenario, we break even on that spike deal there, so I'm... Oh, this is the perfect situation here. Uh, worst case scenario, we, we break even on that spike, so it seemed like a smart idea. Let's uh, book a Belial up here so I hopefully take less damage. Getting a little bit scared. Oh, yeah, that's bad. You're going to drop some money, though. Yeah, a decent amount, actually, and we got a Spirit Heart back, so broke even, but... I don't want to break even because I'm not going to break even on the uh, blue baby fight and the Isaac fight, which comes first, obviously. But um, I need to I need to build up some health for those fights, not you know just stay at the same level right now. This is how bad things happen. So we got another nine plays on this judgment. You're going to pay out. I know you're going to pay out. You might as well just do it right now rather than force me to go through this anxiety. And we did that all for one. Uh, HP upgrade, which is effectively at this point very very similar to uh, oh thank god Miter and relic uh, is effectively very very similar to just getting one spirit heart So yeah again, that's that's my own personal opinion at least the closer you get to the end of the game Spirit hearts or the, the closer spirit hearts and red hearts come in value to one another Lots of people disagree with me. I'm not saying uh, Spirit hearts get better or red hearts get worse. Just saying, you know, how I feel about it. I don't think we need that speed upgrade. I think it would actually make things a little harder. Let's make this happen. And I'm excited to hopefully at least make it through this fight. And then we can see what we've got on the, on the um, chest. And that's exciting because we're going to have five potential items in that first room as a result of this uh, Wheel of Fortune card. So thank God we have... Um, Celtic Cross. Celtic Cross Invincibility is actually a little bit longer than Polaroid Invincibility, it seems. And this is allowing us to do some seriously great work here. Yeah, it, it almost feels like Book of Shadows length uh, Invincibility, which is pretty fucking long. So, it actually didn't take as much damage as I thought we would take there, even though I dodged really impotently. So, feeling pretty good. Could be the beginnings of a brand new streak. Maybe. Maybe up here. Mr. Boom, terrible. Poison Bombs, better. Book of Sin, terrible. D6, amazing. Uh, we're not even going to take the Poison Bombs. And yes, you know, thank you for your service, Book of, Book of Bilal. You've been wonderful. But we're going to use the D6 now to get a little crazy and reroll everything. Sacrificial Dagger is an instant take. Uh, HP upgrade is maybe not so good at this point. I will take Odd Mushroom for the extra rate of fire, even though that will make me a little bit more susceptible to the bullshit, obviously, that... Um, Blue Baby will throw out at me. I really thought that we'd be able to kill him earlier than that. And I really should have killed Pestilence first, because my dodging is going to be very negatively affected by the fact that I'm going to be so inhibited by Creep here. That was terrible damage on my part, I'll admit. That HP upgrade is, is an interesting value proposition. Uh, I totally forgot to put down this Wheel of Fortune card. We'll blow it up. Uh, what was I thinking there? Luckily, it ended up working out. I'm not going to take the HP upgrade, to be honest with you. I could take Unicorn Horn into the boss fight, and that would probably guarantee me a win. But then I'd lose out on all these rerolls. We definitely don't need any of these. Remote Detonator is a uh, free five bombs, and could be fun, but anyway. So I am, um, I'm being a little bit risky here. You'll never hear me say that I'm not in a situation like this. I am pretty much deliberately endangering myself a little bit to make the run more exciting at this point. And that's not me fishing for favor or attention or anything like that. That's just me trying to make things a little bit more interesting. That's bad damage on my part. Please drop an HP upgrade that I don't want to reroll. Hey, he did it. So I'll actually take that one now, and we'll come back in here to this reroll pedestal and reroll the shit out of these. Attack Fly. I will take Attack Fly. I'm going to leave the other two because obviously they're terrible. I'm fishing right now for a good spacebar item. Book of Belial was one, but I'm, I thought that we would get better benefit. Um, we should kill Sloth last. Uh, I thought that I would get a better benefit by uh, taking the D6. Sometimes that works out, sometimes it doesn't. You should be dead very, very soon. We'll see. Um, you only need really... We might not need any items to actually make this work. The Devil Tarot card is actually so useful for us. We might not need any extra items to make this work for us. We might only need one. 
but the more we can get, the better we are. Uh, Devil card is nice. We may at this point be relying on Celtic Cross for some clutch, clutch invincibilities. From a tactical standpoint, I'll admit that I think I maybe made some uh, misplays on this floor. If I just kept Book of Belial or went with the Unicorn Horn, I think I'd be much safer, but I think this is more fun, so sue me. Uh, Shoop to Whoop is not good enough. It's a good, it's a good space bar item, sort of. It's better than taking the D6 into the boss fight, but, you know, not as good as taking nearly anything else into the boss fight. Uh, that at least has some kind of damage potential, whether that be, uh, actual damage in the form of, you know, Necronomicon or something like that, or effective extra damage in the form of, like, a slow or a freeze or something like that. Do we know what this pill does? Telepills. Not gonna take that. Could be the boss fight up here. Uh, yeah, we kill Gluttony last, because the Miter will give us a better chance of those uh, Red Hearts from Gluttony becoming Spirit Hearts, I suppose. Greed first would be my ideal way to finish this up. Uh, nearly killed Gluttony by accident. Oh, come on, Wrath. That was just vindictive. Vin Diesel live. Well, thank you for the Spirit Hearts. That's the other potential payout there. Let's uh, take what might be our last remaining reroll and see if we can make something positive happen here. So we reroll. Little Chad, Book of Shadows. All right, so we will take Book of Shadows with this little Chad whatever. Makes the Miter and Relic worse, right? Isn't that what you want me to say? And obviously this is based on the assumption that the boss fight is going to be right up here. But even if it's not, uh, Book of Shadows is a wonderful payout that will make us very, very strong for the future. So I just want to keep these guys in sync as long as is humanly possible. And then, of course, I took them completely out of sync with one another. But still doing an awful lot of damage just with our added invincibility. And yeah, sincerely with, with Nun's Habit, I think we basically have an unlosable combination now. Our invincibility with Celtic Cross as well, in conjunction with this, is going to be remarkable. And a really good item to take into the boss fight. Plus, we have the Devil. Um, good stuff on the horizon. Now, if I could just keep these guys in sync with one another, that would be even better. If I get hit, I'll be, uh, you know, one half closer to getting another Book of Shadows active. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, one of them's dead already. So this actually should become a super easy fight now. Because of my full suite of orbitals, managed to get out of that without not taking a, a little bit of damage, which is very surprising to me. Now, you should be deceased. Uh, any moment now. There you go. We'll leave, and Pestilence has to go first, because death is going to be annoying if we uh, still have to deal with that creep on the ground. We still can't fly. That's like the one obvious thing we're lacking on this run right now. We have HP, Spirit Hearts, damage, invincibility, good defense, obviously, as a byproduct of that. But we still need uh, the ability to fly, if possible. Although, by the time you get to the chest, the ability to fly is like basically, you know, its time has sailed. Now, there we go. Almost got tagged there. Probably, I got hit there, which actually surprised me a great deal. Please, I mean, we could use Book of Shadows again and still get a little bit of a charge after we finish this room, but it seems like a stupid idea. I don't really want to use Book of Shadows here if I can avoid it. it. It should be plausible to not take damage on this room without using Book of Shadows. Especially now that we're so fucking close to the end. Ah, that was easy. So we should have one more room. Okay. One more room than the boss room. This is a win. Almost unfathomable to imagine otherwise. I'm very happy with our play here. I mean, we got super lucky with our items as well. From the very first item room, Magic Mushroom is just like a, a crazy good pickup. Um, that being said, we played well enough as well. Made some good tactical decisions. Just, uh, I was wrong. It ended up being a very comfortable finish here. So, pop the Devil card. We don't have, um, we don't have Lump of Coal, so we can just get right in there and let our orbitals do damage, fire off as many shots as we can. Celtic Cross is going to work out in our favor. Every time we get hit, or every two times we get hit, we'll be able to do exactly the same thing we just did, which actually took off like 50 or 60% of his health. So, Blue Baby is basically done for here. And this is another um, fairly textbook run. Fairly normal run. A little bit more deal with the Angel Heavy than your average, I guess. But still, as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a lot. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.